It's Travel Michigan. I'm Dave Lorenz along with Michelle Benash, and we are back for another week of a fun program. We're learning about uh, reasons why you should travel all around Michigan. And Michelle, this is going to be a fun show. I'm really excited because we love to talk about food and we love to talk mm-hmm. about eating and we love to talk about tourism. Mm-hmm. And this whole show, we are talking about all of those things as we celebrate the flavors of Pure Michigan. Um, and to start off, I mean, there's no better flavor than fresh fish. At least that's what they tell me. I'm not a big fish eater, but I've heard <laughs> it's really good. It is. Um, and so here to tell us how you can get the freshest possible fish out of the Great Lakes is Captain Denny Grinald. Uh, he is with the Michigan Charter Boat Association. He's a charter captain in Grand Haven, and he's here to tell us about Michigan's Catch and Cook program. So welcome to the show, Captain. And Tell folks a little bit about Catch and Cook and and this unique opportunity that they can find here in Michigan. Sure, I'd be happy to. Uh, Catch and Cook is a a collaboration of the Michigan Charter Board Association, the Michigan Restaurant Association, Michigan Department of Natural Resources, Michigan Department of Agriculture and uh, Rural Development, and Michigan State University, and Michigan Sea Grant. And what Catch and Cook does is allow charter fishing clients who catch fish for Michigan's Great Lakes, an opportunity to take their fish and catch to a participating Michigan restaurant to have cook it and serve it to those same clients. Mm. You know, I'm surprised so many people are, are were involved in getting this thing going because it, it seems just like a natural. Uh, Michigan has so many, you know, great fish and uh, so many great restaurants, and uh, it took a while to uh, to bring this program about. Well, it, it seemed like it did. You know, we worked on it for quite a while. We launched it last May. And since that time, it's gained quite a bit of traction. We have our own website where both restaurants and charter boat captains can sign up to participate. We've uh, There's never been anything illegal about it, but hmm. in order for the state to promote it, we wanted to make sure everybody was on board and that uh, fish were properly handled and, and taken to a restaurant and, and properly prepared by professional chefs. So it's become quite popular. I mean, there is, like Michelle said, there's nothing like fresh fish. Hmm prepared by a professional chef and you, you pair that with Michigan vegetables and, and then maybe a Michigan produced microbrew or a Michigan produced wine and, and you have uh, a, a flavor of well, pure Michigan and it doesn't really get much better than that. Well does this operate kind of like um, if you were to bring your own wine into a restaurant some restaurants allow you to do that and they'll charge you a corking fee you know to uncork and since you're not you know buying the wine from them is it something like that that uh, if you bring your fish into a participating restaurant that you pay a fee uh, for them to, um, to to cook the fish for you and uh, as part of your overall meal? That's correct. I mean, you would the fish is, comes off the charter boat and it would be uh, properly cleaned, bagged, and identified by the time, the date, the charter boat, the charter boat captain. So there's a trail of custody that the restaurant can be sure that the fish are fresh. They come from a known source that's reliable. And then the restaurants, um, well, one of the requirements then is make sure the fish are properly handled at the restaurant, separate from other uh, food items, and they can only be delivered to the clients that bring the fish in. Mm-hmm. Now, is this only big lake fish, or is it fish, uh, you know, from streams, rivers, you know, inland lakes? Well, as long as it comes from a guide or a charter boat uh, operation, now that's the key for the restaurants. They have the most to lose, they have the most to gain. Uh, they want to make sure that those fish are fresh and that's a reliable source. So, as long as it's it's come from an identifiable uh, captain, then then that procedure then is authorized. Do you have participating charters and restaurants in all of the Great Lakes that touch Michigan? We have them in most of them. Uh, like I say, it's gaining a lot of traction, particularly this year. It's been promoted uh, in various venues, uh, uh, you know, through Premier Michigan, through the Charter Boat Association, Restaurant Association. So people are becoming more and more aware of it. Uh, and we just, and in fact, we had Governor Snyder out last week and after the fishing trip, we took him to the kitchen cook. And he's very high in the program and mentioned on this, to me anyway, that on his trip to China, that's one of the things he's going to talk about. Uh, that'll actually be very popular with Asian travelers. Uh, one of the things that we know about uh, um, our, our visitors from places like China and Japan is 
that they know Michigan is known for fishing, and they want to experience some of that fresh fish. This will actually be perfect for that that uh, group of traveler. And, and, of course, it's going to be perfect for a lot of people looking for just this. Let's uh, give an example. Uh, you operate out of Grand Haven uh, on your boat. Um, uh, you would uh, go out with your guest. You'd uh, go out and uh, catch some fish. And then what would happen from that point on? Well, from that, that point on, then, then we have several restaurants here in Grand Haven and Spring Lake. And, some, and I think there's one or two in Muskegon close by. Um, and we would tell them that we'd be talking about that on the charter and then recommending one of those restaurants that they might want to take their fish to. And in some cases, like the one restaurant that I use, I always call them ahead of time to kind of give them a heads up so they're prepared um, for the amount of people that may show up. And what really works nice for the restaurant is by the time you come in with a charter, it's uh, 1 o'clock or afterwards and quite a bit after their rush hour so it kind of fills a little gap for them. Well, That's know, true, yeah. Rush time. Yeah, because most of your uh, fishing would be uh, in morning, and I know you guys go out in the afternoons too, but but uh, quite often we'll be in that uh, kind of early early afternoon time. It's uh, it's a, a great idea to do the, the uh, Michigan catch and cook, especially with those big lake uh, operators. But as uh, you mentioned, Denny, there are other opportunities using uh, guides as well on inland lakes and streams, and I just think people might want to find out more to do that. You'll go to michigancatchandcook.com for more information. Thank you, Captain Denny Grinold from the Michigan Charter Boat Association. We're going to continue to learn more about the flavors of Michigan next, right here on Travel Michigan, where your trip begins at michigan.org.